Good morning. Today is September 12th, and I'll be reading from Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. A wonderful devotion. Um, I love the message in it today. Um, and then I'll share the scriptures and some insight on it at the end. Today's devotion reads, Receive my peace. It is my continual gift to you. The best way to receive this gift is to sit quietly in my presence, trusting me in every area of your life. Quietness and trust accomplish far more than you can imagine, not only in you, but also on earth and in heaven. When you trust me in a given area, you release that problem or person into my care. Spending time alone with me can be a difficult discipline because it goes against the activity addiction of this age. You may appear to be doing nothing, but actually you are participating in battles going on within spiritual realms. You are waging war, not with the weapons of the world, but with heavenly weapons which have divine power to demolish strongholds. Living close to me is a sure defense against evil. How sweet those words are and how true are they. Um, the first scripture I'd like to share with you is John chapter 14 verse 27 where our Savior Jesus Christ says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. The next scripture I'd like to read to you is in the book of Isaiah chapter 30 verse 15 which reads, For thus saith the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, In returning and rest shall ye be saved, in quietness and in confidence shall be your strength. And then the last scripture I'd like to share with you is in Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4, which says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. We live in a day of instant gratification. Um, you get timeline notifications. You want to check them. You get comments. You get likes. You get shares. You get tweets. You get likes on your Instagram and comments, Snapchat. I mean, there's so many different things that call for our attention we call it social media um, the Lord says that we have to be quiet and still in his presence and that doesn't mean turn the TV and the music off and lay on the couch and surf on your phone and communicate with people that means take a little bit of time to turn your phone off you know give the Lord a little bit of time of your day so that he can accomplish mighty things through you. Because as you turn off technology to tune into heaven, um, it, it becomes a powerful channel of communication. More than any social media conversation or thread that you're following could ever come to pass or, or bring to light. Um, we are fighting a war. And in Revelations, it talks about the weapons are going to be the words of our testimony. How strong is your testimony? What can you do to strengthen your testimony? I would venture to say that spending time with God would probably be a good um, boost of your testimony. Um, an injection of strength because that's what happens when you spend a little bit of time with with your father in heaven and with your savior and and enjoy the presence of the holy ghost um you become stronger in a world full of distractions i challenge you to turn off the distractions for just a few minutes a few minutes every day try this for a week or a month a month at best it would be best but You'll notice the difference in a week. Take your phone and power it off. Don't put it on mute. Power it off for 30 to 45 minutes. Either at the beginning of your day 
or at the end of your day. It's your choice. I'm a morning person, so I do it at the beginning. And then I like to do it at night, too. Um, doesn't matter what I do. Take 30 to 45 minutes. Turn it off. Don't go in front of the TV. Go outside for a minute. Take in the beauty. Listen to the songs of the birds in the morning. At night, um, listen to, to what it sounds like outside. Feel the breeze. Now, don't be distracted by those, you know, simple alarms and beeps and notifications. Listen to the notifications that are coming from heaven. You hear owls howling. Dogs barking, children playing, birds chirping, the wind blowing. All these things testify of your Heavenly Father. And He put them here so that you would be blessed. Enjoy those simple blessings that He's given you so that you may become stronger in your faith and in your testimony. So that you too may wield the shield of faith. And so that the sword of the spirit that you wield will be sharp. I love you and I pray for your success and I pray for your peace and I pray for your salvation and I pray for your families. And I hope that you have all that you stand in need of. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.